a test is in order. Five enhanced clones, more capable than an army. Yet they exhibit a concerning level of disobedience in disregard for orders. Squads, nothing but trouble. But we get the job done. You'll climb Force 99. You know who we are. Hunter. Let's go. Echo. Hyperdrive's online. Tech. Prepping to jump. Wrecker. Let's blow something up. And cross here. Your move. Ha! We're all you need. I want Clone Force 99 found and wiped out. The galaxy's a dangerous place to be. We need to get out of here. What do you say, kid? You want to come with us? How can I help? Clone Wars have ended. You can either adapt and survive, or die with the past. The decision is yours. We do what we do. Strap in, kid. Welcome everyone to another video of Star Wars 66 and for this video we're going to be talking about uh, the recent Bad Batch trailer that was just released. The second one, uh, we, did get, uh, we did get another one about the end of last year which was awesome which revealed some interesting things about uh, Palpatine him saying um, uh, you know his famous line and all of that uh, but now uh, this trailer went more deeper into what the this season is going to be like especially us knowing that the first episode is going to be a 70 minute intro like a triple size and in the same week that's going to be on tuesday may 4th and three days after that uh may the well on the, the friday on uh, may, may 7th i believe is going to be uh the second episode so that week is going to be an awesome star wars week getting a lot of uh uh, minutes of Star Wars and now for this video I just wanted to talk about some interesting facts that we now know from the Bad Batch um, and you know there is this new character uh, Omega and she I I'm guessing it's a she we don't know yet because of how you know it's kind of hard to tell with the young voice actors and all that but um I'm guessing it's a she because in there was a, the French uh, trailer uh, came out first and that sounded a lot like a girl as well. So um, I'm going to say it's a girl. And what's interesting to me is that Omega, it, it kind of means like the, la the last of something. So I'm guessing that Omega is going to be like one of the last clones that was ever made. And maybe there's a... Uh, Maybe they stopped making the clones. I'm not sure. I'm because of uh, how she ended up being a girl. Anyway, it's like a, a girl version of Django Fett. Interesting. I have an interesting uh, theory that some of you may not like, but Omega turns into Captain Phasma. <laughs> I don't know. I was thinking about that earlier today. I was like, you know what? How old is Phasma? And I was like, yeah, it's the sequels. Anyway, um. Uh, something that I saw recently, uh, like an uh, article on uh, other videos that people were making about how Crosshair, about how he, he's going to be turning uh, against Clone Force 99 and his brothers and start working for the Empire. He did have a little confusion and a little rebellious on his face. Like he is going to leave his crew and start joining the empire and, and maybe he's a double agent perhaps maybe he still is uh with clone force 99 but the he is reporting for the empire hmm. 
uh, now when I did my uh, reaction, immediate, immediate reaction for the very first time, I, I never noticed that Captain Rex was in the, the film. So now that I do know that, I am very excited. I can't believe we're going to be seeing Rex. And if we see Rex, uh, uh, that can lead to so many different things. But we are going to see him. And we don't, I don't know where he was. Is that on, like the Battle of Jakku perhaps? And I don't know, Saul Guerrero was there, so a lot of characters we've seen them before, but obviously with Omega, there's going to be new characters. Now with Rex, I don't think we're going to be seeing Ahsoka, because I, I just don't see her being with Rex anymore. We all we know that they split and they go to different uh, pathways, but you know, perhaps they're still friends, of course. And what I want to see is how Rex takes out uh, his uh, friends other inhibitor ships like Gregor uh, or Wolf how do they take out their inhibitor ships that's what I want I want to find out um because remember in Rebels they already have it uh taken out but I'm thinking that I don't know what Rex could be showing them maybe it's uh something they're looking for because Fennec Shan says the galaxies are different it's a different place it's a dangerous place to be roaming around so I guess they're just roaming around the galaxy, and I don't know what they're trying to do. Maybe just uh, get make sure the Empire doesn't eventually find them and get them. Uh, later in the trailer, we see the Empire kind of raiding Naboo. I don't know what Palpatine thinks of that. Uh, maybe he's probably doing that because it is his home planet and he wants to take it back. Now, to me, the reason I think the Bad Batch did not execute Order 66 was when Tarkin says that the Bad Batch are knowing, they're knowing for uh, disobeying orders. And so that's basically specific talking, specifically talking about orders. And the first order that would come to your mind is execute order 66. Those are the, uh, that's the main order that is recent, that has recently happened regarding this timeline of Revenge of the Sith. He said they're knowing for disobeying orders, so maybe they don't execute Order 66, they, but Tarkin gives them another opportunity to work for the Empire because of how powerful and unique they are. They are powerful with just one army, and so Tarkin realizes that maybe Palpatine was a, has assigned Tarkin to find them. We know he finds them and they want to wipe them out, so eventually they are going to escape off of Camino, and they're going to be roaming the galaxy, maybe with the Rex. Uh, they're going to be meeting a, a bunch of new people across the galaxy. We see Saul Guerrero and his uh, his people he's with. Uh, it didn't look like Saul Guerrero very much. I haven't seen the episodes with him back in the Clone Wars in a little bit, so I got to get refreshed up before we watch it on May the Fourth. Uh, still, anyway, I'm very excited for this is surpassing my expectations already and if we get like a scene with Darth Vader at the very beginning of the film because it's 70 minutes long it's going to be like a season 8 of Clone Wars basically if we get that uh the Bad Batch pretending to execute Order 66 but then Tarkin figures out that they're not and then it takes place like that and eh, I'm just I can't wait to figure out what actually happens at the very beginning like the first five minutes of the show is going to answer a lot of questions i personally think anyway that's it for this little breakdown and a little more facts about uh, the bad batch uh, what we can expect that's it for this video uh, thank you everybody for watching and may the fourth be with you